Welcome to Mythic Bedtime YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share. Orion's Quest, The Forgotten Kingdom Chapter 1, The Map in the Attic Orion was an inquisitive young boy who loved exploring. He lived in a small town where everyone knew each other, and nothing much ever happened. One rainy afternoon, he found himself rummaging through the attic. The attic was like a treasure trove of forgotten memories and hidden secrets. Among old trunks, dusty books, and ancient artifacts, he discovered something extraordinary, an ancient map. This was not like any map he had ever seen, it was made of a material that felt like a mixture of paper and fabric. Intricate designs adorned its borders, and it glowed under the moonlight. The map was filled with mysterious symbols, cryptic languages, and a path leading to a place marked as the Forgotten Kingdom. Orion felt a rush of excitement. He had heard legends about a lost kingdom but never thought it could be real. The map seemed to beckon him, and he decided he had to find out. Chapter 2, Preparing for the Journey Orion spent days gathering supplies for his journey. He packed food, a small tent, and other essentials. His most prized possession was a magical compass his grandfather had given him. The compass was no ordinary one, it always pointed towards adventure. With a heart full of excitement, he set off following the map. His parents, aware of his adventurous spirit, trusted him but reminded him to be careful. Orion felt a mix of excitement and nervousness as he stepped out of his house, the magical compass in one hand and the glowing map in the other. He walked through the town, past the old mill, and across the river bridge. The map led him towards the Forest of Whispers, a place many in the town spoke of but few had ever ventured into. As he reached the edge of the forest, he took a deep breath. The forest was dense, filled with ancient trees whose branches seemed to touch the sky. The air was thick with the scent of wet earth and foliage. Orion felt like he was stepping into another world. Chapter 3, The Forest of Whispers Orion's first steps into the Forest of Whispers were cautious. The forest was dense, and the path was filled with obstacles. Thorny bushes, quicksand, and even a river that he had to cross by making a makeshift raft. But Orion was determined, he felt like the forest was testing him, and he wouldn't back down. As he walked deeper into the forest, he started hearing faint whispers guiding him, follow the moonlight, young adventurer. The whispers seemed to come from the trees themselves, their leaves rustling in the wind as if speaking to him. Orion followed the whispers and soon found himself in a clearing bathed in moonlight. In the center of the clearing was an ancient stone pedestal with an inscription that read, Place the map, and your path will be revealed. Chapter 4, The Guardian of the Gate Orion placed the map on the pedestal. The moment he did, the map glowed brighter, and the pedestal sank into the ground, revealing a hidden staircase leading down. With a sense of awe and wonder, Orion descended the stairs and found himself in front of a massive gate guarded by a stone golem. Answer my riddle to pass, said the guardian. The riddle was complex, involving both logic and knowledge of the natural world. Orion sat down, pondering the riddle, scribbling notes on the ground, and after what seemed like hours, he solved it. The guardian was impressed and stepped aside, allowing Orion to enter the kingdom. Chapter 5, The Cursed Kingdom As he stepped into the kingdom, Orion felt a heavy air of sadness. The once vibrant land was now barren, its inhabitants turned into stone statues. At the center of the kingdom stood a dark palace, its spires reaching into the sky like twisted fingers. Orion knew he had to go there to break the curse. The journey to the palace was perilous, he had to cross a bridge made of shadows, solve more riddles posed by talking statues, and navigate through a maze of illusions. Each challenge was harder than the last, but Orion's determination never wavered. 
He felt like the kingdom itself was testing him, pushing him to his limits, but he wouldn't give up. Chapter 6, The Hall of Mirrors Finally, after what seemed like an eternity, Orion reached the palace. The doors creaked open as he approached, as if inviting him in. Inside, he found himself in a grand hall filled with mirrors. Each mirror showed a different reality, a different possibility. One mirror caught his attention, it showed the kingdom as it once was, full of life and color. Orion felt a deep sense of sorrow as he looked at the mirror. He realized that this mirror held the key to breaking the curse. Gathering his courage, he touched its surface. The moment he did, the mirror absorbed the light from the glowing map and shattered, releasing a wave of energy that swept across the kingdom. Chapter 7, Breaking the Curse The wave of energy was powerful but gentle. As it washed over the stone statues, they turned back into people. Children started playing, and the adults danced with joy. The land regained its lost beauty, flowers bloomed, and the air was filled with the sweet scent of nectar. The curse was broken, and the forgotten kingdom was forgotten no more. Orion felt a sense of fulfillment like he had never felt before. He had done it, he had broken the curse and restored the kingdom to its former glory. But before he could celebrate, he heard a voice behind him. Chapter 8, The Queen's Gratitude Thank you, brave adventurer, said Queen Serafina, the ruler of the Forgotten Kingdom. She had been trapped in a magical sleep and was now finally free. You have saved us all, and for that, you will always be a hero in this kingdom. Orion felt humbled by her words. He realized that the adventure had changed him, made him stronger, wiser, and more courageous. With a heart full of gratitude, he bid farewell to the queen and the people of the kingdom. Chapter 9, The Hero's Return With the curse lifted, Orion returned to his world. The ancient map disintegrated, its purpose fulfilled. Though no one else remembered the Forgotten Kingdom, Orion kept its memory alive, sharing the tale as a bedtime story for generations to come. He became a legend in his own right, the boy who had journeyed to a Forgotten Kingdom and returned to tell the tale. As he grew older, Orion often looked back at his adventure as a turning point in his life. But the magical compass his grandfather had given him still pointed towards new adventures, reminding him that life itself was an unending journey. The End